CBS's The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Wednesday's updates, February 29th. Also in the near future, Devin and Tucker McCall will meet and say their wishes. They're father and son, so it will be easier to forgive each other. Tucker knew that he was wrong to do the opposite of Devin's wishes, so that he had to carry a huge debt now. Ashley wants Devin and Tucker to unite and sit together to overcome this crisis period, to have the reputation affected. Devin's a good person, and so is Tucker, and they're finally a family, so and they hate each other is not so going to happen. Jack told Diane that everything was worse, and Jack's reputation in Javit has been heavily affected when he wanted to bring Diane to the family company to work, and everyone protested. But Jack believes that Diane will be like Adam and loved by everyone. Jack will meet, make people admire Diane, but on the contrary, people will hate him. Not only the Abbott family, but the employees in Jabot do not like Diane, a fake old woman, and only Jack can trust. Adam was angry when the position of CEO of Newman Enterprises could not return to his hands, so everything became worse. Adam took it to account the business line with others, and Jeremy took her with heavy objects. Jeremy's holding $1 million of Jack, and he wants to invest, and Adam is an expert who deployed projects, so he should trust and do business with Adam, and they will succeed. It can be said that Alliance Ashley, Tucker, Jeremy, and Jack will thrive, becoming a bad force ready to confront everyone, and no one can defend them. Jack and Victor should reconsider their attitude, and this life always has difficult thoughts. Victor and Victoria told Nate if they were to get married, they were already asleep together, but Audra discovered this, and she also took photos of the two of them kissing, intent to use it for bad purposes. Nate now has too many women around, and he doesn't know who to choose now. So, Nate believes that he is a component, an incompetent person, and he is loved. But no, Elena, Audra, and Victoria will find them being deceived, and they will make the revenge on these bastard men.